Last night, Nicole Jokic dropped 43 points, 14 rebounds, and 8 assists on 85% from the field. The night before last night, Jason Tatum dropped 44 points, 9 rebounds, and 6 assists in a somewhat come-from-behind win against the Lakers. And a couple nights ago, Joel Embiid dropped 53 points and 12 rebounds en route to another huge night for him. There has been so much talent in the league this year and so many potential MVP candidates. With that being said, let's rank them. I even have a hot take as my number five to start out this whole list. Let's get straight into it. At number five on my MVP list, I have Stephen Curry. Now look, a lot of people want to put Luka here. and Respectfully, hell no. I do not think Luka deserves a spot on the MVP list right now. He's averaging 33 or whatever the hell he's averaging. But to tell you the truth, he's not, not having a better season than Stephen Curry. And also, Stephen Curry has the same record as Luka Doncic. People earlier in the season were saying, saying Luka should be MB, MVP because he's having great stats with a good amount of winning. Well, now Luka is below 500. What amount of winning is he amounting to? And although Stephen Curry is also below 500, 30 points, 6 rebounds, 7 assists on 67% true shooting percentage is one of the most efficient point guard seasons we've ever seen. Although Luka has been really good this year, one thing that he has not been in the past is very efficient. He's been efficient, but not compared to Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry is either the first or most consistent and most efficient scorer of all time. So yeah, he's going to take the cake there. But to me, number one is Stephen Curry. Last night, I'm pretty sure he had 38 points against the Pacers before he was ruled out because he got injured. And on above 50% shooting, Stephen Curry's been shooting the lights out this season. It's not like it's anything new. But to me, he has been better than Luka Doncic this season. And that should not be seen as a hot take. To me, he is number five in the MVP race and not Luka Doncic. At number four in the MVP race, and I might get some hate for this, I have Giannis Antetokounmpo. Now look, Giannis Antetokounmpo is pretty damn good. There's no doubt about that. He's probably the best player in the league um, when it comes to everything considered. But to me, he's not the MVP this year. First of all, he's not number one in his conference, which Giannis, for him to win an award, I think a lot of it has to do with his team's um, output and his team's winning. Don't get me wrong, they still have 20 wins. They're one of two teams with 20 wins in the league right now. But I don't think he is a top three MVP candidate candidate just because of the people that are outperforming him ahead of him. I also think that his roster, well, even though people are going to hate me for saying this, his roster is stacked. You know, if you have Bobby Portis, Chris Middleton, Drew Holiday, and a very deep bench, you're going to perform. And Giannis has been performing 31 points a game, 11 rebounds, 5 assists, 58% true shooting percentage, which is just a tick above league average, to tell you the truth. It's, it's, it's good. But it's not phenomenal like the top three MVP candidates are doing right now. So with all that being said, Giannis Antetokounmpo having another great season and another peak season that will help to his debate in being a top 15 player of all time. But to me, he is just not the MVP right now. Number four is good, though. Giannis Antetokounmpo. At number three. I have Joel Embiid. Now, the reason why he's not number two, and he'll be two soon because I'm pretty sure that their record is going to start um, improving, is because his record is not the best. Also, Joel Embiid has missed a chunk of games this season. Not to his fault, of course. He just gets injured and it just sucks. Um, you cannot control that. But yeah, Joel Embiid this season averaging 33.3 points a game, 10 rebounds, 5 assists on 64.6% .6 true shooting percentage. A phenomenal season for Joel Embiid. The only reason the two guys are ahead of him, one of them is ahead of him because he's played more games and his record is better. The other guy is because he's just a runaway MVP as of right now. But anyway, Joel Embiid has had a great season. We saw that one game where he almost had a quadruple double with blocks uh, and assists and rebounds and points. He's had a game where he scored 53 and 12, like I said. He had one game where he scored 59 points, 11 rebounds, 8 assists, and 7 blocks. Yeah, 42 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists. Joel Embiid has been a straight monster and a machine for a 76ers team that very much needs it this season. I'm going to just keep it concise because we all know what Joel Embiid does. Joel Embiid will be a perennial top two player in the NBA. Um, even though people are going to hate me for that comment, I think he's been the second best player in the NBA each of the last two seasons. Um, but yeah, Joel Embiid. All right, now, and number two in MVP to me is Nikola Jokic. Now, look, I don't think he's going to win the MVP this year, no matter what he does. Unless he starts to go on a tear where he's averaging like probably 28, 13, and 10, then it's like, okay, it's so ridiculous. You got to give it to him. 
and if he's a one seed along with that, you kind of have to give it to him. But I don't think he'll get it because his team will not be the one seed this year. Their defense is just too piss poor for that to happen. And, uh, yeah, the Nuggets on their trajectory, they are in a great, resilient offensive team. But when it comes to defense, they are one of the worst I have ever seen, with all due respect. Last night when I was watching the Nuggets play, we let the Wizards score 120 points. And we beat them by 20. We beat them by 20, and they still scored 120 points. Yeah, the Nuggets are horrible on defense. So, Nikola Jokic is not winning the MVP, but he's number two right now to me. 25 points a game, 10 rebounds, 9 assists, 71% true shooting percentage. He has been the most efficient volume scorer in the league. And listen, just to put this in retrospect, efficiency is uh, graded by true shooting percentage to me. And out of the top five players in true shooting percentage, Nikola Jokic averages 25 the next highest leading scorer averages 11.7 points per game. He is absolutely on a tear when it comes to scoring. There's no doubt about that. He's actually the second most efficient scorer in the league behind Grant Williams, who's averaging a solid nine points a game, which that's nice, but that's a third of what Jokic is doing right now. But yeah, Nicole Jokic. And at number one in a landslide right now, although his efficiency doesn't look the greatest, is Jason Tatum. What I mean by his efficiency doesn't look the greatest is what the way that I look at superstars, I base their efficiency off of the comparison to other superstars. I don't do it compared to league average because you should not be at league average efficiency if you're a superstar, to tell you the truth. And yeah, Jason Tatum this year averaging 30 points a game, 8 rebounds, 4 assists on 61% true shooting percentage. That makes his efficiency look pretty average slash mediocre for a superstar. Nonetheless, it's still great, don't get me wrong. The reason why Jason Tatum's MVP to me this year is because, first of all, his defense has been amazing. I think it's even taken a step up. Uh, the, the Boston Celtics, as a team right now, are not performing the best defensively. They're around league average. And yeah, Jason Tatum, he's been the rock of the best team in the league. I mean, the Boston Celtics might run away with the championship this year and just... Nobody will think twice about it. You know, they've kind of quite literally been the most dominant team in the league. Anyway, with all due respect, Jason Tatum should win the MVP this year as long as he keeps this stride. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And yeah, peace out. Hey, come on, I got a bag on me. You try to take it, leave you stinking like your last homie. She kind of cakey, little baby, put that ass on me. But I ain't that horny, do you got some cash for me? Why every time you ask him that, bitch, is that funny? And you keep trying to hold the strap, you won't slap for me. You too happy, I can tell you never had money. Every time you get on live, got a flash money.